everyone, this video will walk you through the steps of getting your team registered for the upcoming season. First step, visit our website, head down to the registration tab and click on tournament registration. If you scroll down, you will see some written instructions that will walk you through registration if needed. And then you will see three sections um, available for registration, one for division A, one for division B, one for division C. So you'll select the division that you're interested in registering for and click the register now button. It's going to take you to the NC State reporter system, which is the online registration system that we use for team registration. If you have not logged in to this for a while, you may need to go ahead and try to log back in again to your Brickyard login, which is for NC State guests. Um, there is an option to reset your password if it's been a long time and you can't remember your password. And if you have never used Reporter before for registration, you'll need to click the Create New Account button and quickly just follow the steps to create an account before you will be able to register. So once you are logged in to your account, you will see a screen something like this. You want to make sure it says 2024 up here and you want to make sure that it either that the division is correct. So it's either elementary school, middle school or high school. There's some information here for you that you can read through. And then on the right hand side, once registration opens for all tournaments, you will see several tournaments listed down the side over here. Um, so you want to select the tournament that you're looking to register for. So we'll just say hypothetically, we're going to register for Division B Wilmington. We will click Add to Cart. Take a look at the top number of participants. Um, this is this number. It's a little bit misleading. Number of participants in my brain, I instantly want to think, oh, like number of students. That's not what this means. This is just the you can kind of think of it as number of schools. So if you're a coach registering, you technically have one school that you're registering for. So you don't need to change this um, necessarily. This will automatically list self um, and you can just leave it as self. You don't need to update that. You'll see your name and email here. Um, before you can proceed, you do need to answer some registration questions. School name, We'll just say um, Wilmington School, County, New Hanover. Um, we're going to say public, cell phone number. Um, if you have a co-coach, put their name here. Otherwise, you can just say NA, put their email here, NA. Um, are you coaching a brand new team? Is this your first year? coaching a brand new team that has never done Science Olympiad before? Are you a brand new coach? Have you never coached Science Olympiad before? And would you like to be added to our newsletter? And then you go ahead and submit your answers. This will change from red incomplete to green, and it will say complete. Um, you want to go ahead and check your team registration fee. Each team um, has a registration fee of 350. If you are registering more than one team, so for example, if you have a varsity team and you have a JV team as well, so technically you're registering two teams for your school, you'll want to change this number right here to two, and it will automatically update the total um, at the bottom for the number of teams that you're registering. You'll need to check the box that you've read the registration policies, just double check the system, make sure your subtotal is correct, everything looks good. Um, up here it says course cost right here. That is also a little bit misleading. That's not going to change. That's going to say zero dollars. What you're looking at down here to make sure it's correct is how many teams are you registering. Um, this is what you want to make sure reflects the total number of teams that you're intending to register for. So just a heads up that this stuff at the top up here um, might throw you off just a little bit. So I, I would not worry about what's going on up here. Um, just focus on what you see down here. Once everything looks good, you proceed to order summary. 
You have some payment options. You can pay now using a credit card. You can choose to pay later if you want to log back into your account later and pay with a credit card, or if you want to mail a check and it will give you some instructions on doing so. So we'll just say hypothetically pay later, and then you hit the checkout button, and it will say your order is complete. It'll give you an order number, it'll tell you your balance owed, you can save and download this order summary so you can come back to it later. Reporter will send you updates, I think it's maybe every 30 days or something with your order summary if you've not paid yet, so that will all come to your email and you can always log back into your reporter account if you want to take a look at your status. And that's it. If you have any questions, any issues, need any help, be sure to reach out to us and we will take good care of you. We are looking forward to another great season of Science Olympiad.